an experience. <coughs> Hard to justify. Well, a different student would be. No, we're that. I don't want you to do that. <laughs>
Thank you for coming to the special edition Valentine's Day, February 14th council meeting. It is 7.30 p.m. This is our CC. Will you please call the roll? Mr. Barker. Here. Mr. Bilkey. Here. Mr. Barrett. Here. Ms. Tully. Here. Mr. Ventura. Here. 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 And now I ask Tom O'Brien from American Legion Post 801 Chaplain to lead us in prayer and then following, lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. With bowed heads, let us pray. Almighty God, we pray thee to give guidance to our elected officials so they may find the courage to work together for the common good of our community and to provide us with the necessary services 
that we have come to expect. We ask, Almighty God, that you watch over our police and fire personnel, for they are our first responders to crises that may arise at any time during the day or night. Keep them safe so at the end of their workday they may safely return to their homes and families. We further ask, Almighty God, that you keep a watchful eye over all our city employees, those civil servants whose work is crucial for the benefit of our community. We further thank thee for our fire chief, Tim Black's years of service to our community and wish him well in his retirement. In closing, O God of mercy, we ask for thy blessing and comfort for our neighbors who may be suffering from mental or physical disabilities. Share them and bring them thy blessing of health and happiness. Amen. Amen. And now please face the flag and join me in our Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. O'Brien. <clears throat> All right, first on our agenda is the minutes, uh, regular meeting of January 24th, 2019. I'd make a motion to accept the regular meeting minutes from January 24th as submitted by the Clerk of Council. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Uh, next up, we have pending our new legislation. First one on the agenda is ordinance number seven. I move to offer ordinance number seven, 2019 for first, second, and third read by title only. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? An ordinance authorizing the mayor to enter into an agreement with the Northeast Ohio Public uh, Energy Council in order to accept the energized community grants. So I'll give a little brief explanation on this. Uh, we got a grant from NOPEC to put lighting on our ball field. So they're uh, funding a uh, majority of that cost to put those lights on the ball field and we're obviously very appreciative of that. So what is your pleasure? Uh, I move to pass ordinance number 7, 2019, the same according to law. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Ordinance number 7 passes. Next up is resolution number 8, 2019. Mr. Mayor, I'd like to offer resolution number 8, 2019, for its first, second, and third reading in entirety. Second. <laughs> Does this do it, Josephine? A resolution of appreciation for the Fire Chief Tim Black of the City of Macedonia Fire Department. Whereas over the past 35 plus <coughs> years, Tim Black has been an essential component of the backbone upon which the modern City of Macedonia has been built. Starting his employment with the City on May 9, 1983 as the first employee of the City's Parks and Recreation Department. And whereas Chief Black first began working with the City Fire Department as a part-time firefighter in 1984 and quickly gained full-time employment status with the city's service department in 1985, where he remained for two years until moving back to the Parks and Recreation Department to a full-time position in 1987. And whereas, continuing to pursue his passion for serving the public and narrowing his focus to providing firefighting service to residents, Chief Black became the full-time service employee with the City of Macedonia Fire Department in 1989. And whereas, during his tenure in the Fire Department and other uh, exhibiting ex exemplary work as a firefighter, Chief Black was promoted to Fire Captain in 1992 and promoted just three years later to Fire Chief in 1995. And whereas, during that time, Chief Black has worked close, closely with the Mayor's Office Department heads and city staff to provide the outstanding fire and EMS services the residences and the businesses of, Mass of the city of Macedonia and the Nordonia Hills community as a whole have come to expect, rely upon, and appreciate. And whereas during Chief Black's tenure, he has overseen a fire department that has expanded by 12 times its original full-time employee size, responds to approximately 10 times more calls per year and provides full-time service to not one, but three political subdivisions of the state of Ohio. 
And whereas over the period of time, <coughs> Chief Black has become one of the most respected department heads in the city of the city of Macedonia's history, and has pro proven himself to be an invaluable employee and asset to the community as a result of his dedication and conscientious attitude toward all employees and citizens of the community. And whereas Chief Black has dedicated the past 35 plus years of his life to serving not only the residents of the city of Macedonia and the surrounding communities, but also to serving those in need throughout the state of Ohio and the United States by serving as the president of the Northeast Ohio Fire Chiefs Association, vice president of the Summit County Fire Chiefs Association, as a trained heavy equipment rigging specialist and instructor for FEMA, and as a rescue squad officer of the Ohio Task Force One for FEMA's urban search and rescue team system, having responded to all major hurricane disasters throughout the country in order to provide and assist in rescue efforts. Chief Black has continued to invest his time and efforts in training the upcoming men and women who will serve in the future generations of firefighters, ensuring that residents throughout our community, the state and the country will continue to receive outstanding service from well-trained, highly qualified and compassionate public employees. And whereas, Chief Black has announced he is retiring from service in his position as the fire chief effective February 18th, 2019. And whereas the administration, council, employees, and entire Macedonia community wish to recognize Chief Black for his decades of devoted service to the city of Macedonia, which has not gone unnoticed, <coughs> and is additionally recognized with, his, with this expression of appreciation. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Council of the City of Macedonia, County of Summit, and State of Ohio. Fire Chief Tim Black is hereby recognized for his more than 35 years of compassion, dedication, and tireless service to the City of Macedonia and its residents. The City of Macedonia, its mayor, council residents, businesses, employees, and officials thank Chief Black for his many years of dedicated service and congratulate him on his retirement. <coughs> would ask that we pass and post corner law resolution number 8 2019 the council thanks you second, second. roll call please mr barker yes mr. yes Grant? yes Ms. Tully? Uh, <laughs> i don't want to let him go but yes and mr Ventura. yes resolution 8 2019 passes uh one formality before i go into the other items here uh, I have to do the Mayor's Court monthly report. Cash flow for January 2019 was $36,114. I'm going to come to the front of the room here. Sorry. No problem.
that for you. Thank you. I'm honored to be here on behalf of some county executive, Eileen Shapiro, to present this proclamation to Chief Black. And whereas Tim Black is a graduate of Nordonia High School, on May 9, 1983, Tim Black be began his service with the city of Macedonia as the first employee of the Parks and Recreation Department, cutting grass in the summer months while studying at the University of Akron. And whereas in 1984, Tim joined the Macedonia Fire Department as a part-time employee, and he switched his field of study from engineering to firefighting. In 1989, he became a full-time fireman. He was promoted to captain in 1992, and in 1995, became fire chief. And whereas Chief Black has seen the department grow from two full-time and 20 part-time employees handling 388 calls a year to a robust 24 full-time and 35 part-time depart part -time department that handles over 3,700 calls a year from three fire stations that serve the City of Macedonia, Northfield Center, and Sagamore Hills Townships. And whereas Chief Black is passionate about serving the public, he is a former president of the Northeast Ohio Fire Chiefs Association, vice president of the Summit County Fire Chiefs Association, member of the FEMA Urban Search and Rescue Team, lead fire instructor at the University of Akron, heavy equipment rigging specialist for FEMA, and a national, national registered paramedic since 1990. And whereas Chief Black plans on spending time, spending some of his time during retirement vacationing, riding his motorcycle across country, camping with his family, and working on antique cars, and whereas Chief's Black, Chief Black's life has been enriched by his wife Mary, their children Danielle, Michael, and Jesse, grandchildren Stone and Nash, and countless friends, now <coughs> therefore I, Eileen Shapiro, Summit County Executive, do hereby proclaim Thursday, February 14th, 2019, to be Chief Tim Black Day. So I have a little 
little speech to give here, but before I get started, I want to recognize some of the elected officials in the room. First and foremost, our council, uh, Councilor Shane Barker, Councilor Jessica Brandt, Mr. Bilkey, Kevin Bilkey, uh, President Tully, and Vice President Ventura. They've all had a hand in what we've been doing here over the years and, and a great group of people, as well as our department heads, Chief John Golden, Director Manley, Mr. Galati, and Director Nottavange, and also Director uh, Gadetti. So, great group of people here. Also in the room tonight that we need to recognize is the Aurora Fire Chief, David Barnes. Thank you for coming tonight. We appreciate having you. Uh, Northfield Village Mayor, Jesse Nihaz. Sagamore Hills Trustee Dave DePospoli. And former council person in the city of Macedonia and Warrensville Heights Chief Paul Susak. So we appreciate having you all tonight. It's a very <laughs> nice night and glad to have you guys. So, talking about the fire department and Chief Black and, and what we do in this community, we talk about family. Uh, your department's one that, you know, look around the room and you see this is a family. It's more than just the work that we do every day. Uh, it's kind of mentioned already tonight, but your children, Danielle, Jesse, and Michael, uh, I know Chief Black is, is, he loves his kids more than life itself. Uh, it's, it's a very strong passion for his family, and I respect that. Um, I look at my kids that are here tonight, and you know, it's special. So I, I love that, that part of you. What I'm going to ask tonight is his wife, Mary, to come up here with us if you're comfortable. Because I think, <laughs> I think it's important. <laughs> so I can tell you that, you know, your wife stands behind you. I, I know your wife is a wonderful, beautiful woman that I, I admire. And uh, getting to know the both of you has been. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, how was you going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I know it. <laughs> but family, this this is what it's all about, guys. No matter what we do here, this is what matters. And, and this is this is special. But I want to talk about you being a leader. Um, it comes down to one thing when I think about you. It, it's character. And, and I think you embody that with everything you've done here. Um, how you define character is what you do when, when no one's looking. And I know that I've always had that confidence with Chief Black that I was I always knew that you would do the right thing and there was no question ever. And it, it made me feel really good even in the short time in my role and now, but even as a council person for over a decade, it was something that was, was you know, we had that trust in you and I appreciate that. Um, the biggest piece of you and your department and what you do is you bring up the people around you. It's never about Chief Black. He's a very humble man. You guys, anyone who knows him personally knows that he's not, he hates this right now. This is not Chief Black. <laughs> he doesn't want this, but he's getting it tonight because he deserves it after 36 years of, of service to this community. So he brings everyone up around him, and that's that's what embodies a strong, good leader that, that I admire. It's a testament when you look around the room to the people that work for you that are you know, here to support you tonight. So. If that doesn't give you warm and fuzzies, I have no idea what would. Um, your work in the city, there's a lot of things, and I didn't want to hit everything, but there's so many things that you've done to, to bring us to where we are. The ISO ranking of two is so huge, and it's such a big deal, and I don't think we give enough credit to what you've done with that. So that is something that we all need to be very, very proud of. That's, that's very, very hard to attain. And the fact that you got us there says a lot about you and what you've done with your department. A lot of that had to do with, with your work, so we appreciate that. But the little things, the Santa program, it's a lot, a lot of work. That's something that, you know, people don't realize what really goes into that. A lot of the, the fire people that are here tonight know that that's a daunting task. That's not easy. It takes a lot of work, and, and, and the community absolutely loves it. I love it. My kids love it, and, and I love being a part of it. So, Thank you for, for keeping that energized and, and moving forward. Uh, touch a truck. We have all these events where you can come out and touch a truck and get to know our firefighters and our chief and everyone else that works in your department. There's nothing better than having face-to-face -face interactions with, with the people that work in your community and represent you. So when you have that, that's what brought him to be such a stellar employee and an awesome, awesome chief because people know who this guy is. They knew who he was because he's always there. And another piece that makes you a, a great guy. Uh, the Explorer program, such a great, great thing. Uh, I, 
I've watched over my tenure here, so many kids go through that program and end up being with us. And I think that that is amazing. I mean, if you bring someone up through that program and actually hire them one day, that's got to make you feel good, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, and involvement in everything Macedonia. You know, we have the, the festival in the summer, the Spirit of Macedonia Festival, that he's always there. We always have the trailer there. The firefighters are there. And that's something that I also admire because it's just a good, healthy thing to be out there. And, and your, your tenure in the city and going to Nardonia Hill Schools, you know, there's something more to this thing. It's not just a job, like I said earlier, so it, it should make you feel pretty awesome. And finally, the commitment has always been there. I'm going to miss you. Uh, it's going to be tough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to do it. <laughs> So, I'm going to leave you with one awesome thing, and I, I put a lot of thought to this and what I was going to say to you, but uh, we both love rock and roll, okay? Something that I, is really near and dear to my heart is music, and I'm going to send you off with this. Get your motor running and get out on the highway. <laughs> Mark. Mark. And if you look, there's a picture that pops up. He asked me to go to the uh, school, the fire, in Columbus. I am definitely afraid of fire, but I was so honored to go. And all it does is reaffirm, I can never, ever do what you do, day in and day out. Not even for five minutes. Not going to happen. Council wanted to take a moment and say thank you. And we have a little gift as a thank you present. Okay, Tim, we got together and decided to get you a 1927 C grain um, suburbanite. Very close to ours. Very close. I couldn't find it there once, so, and uh, my wife and I, well, my wife did put the uh, stickers on for the city, the years of service, and then the years that you were fire chief, and believe me, my heart sank when they said 92, that you became police <coughs> captain, and then you played chief. Sure, right, right. Yeah, so I think this uh, either starts your collection or ends it, uh, but this is something that we wanted to make sure that we presented for you, to you for show our appreciation, and thank you for your service. Thank you. So, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was close. It was a close second. Yeah. Thank you very much. Not yet, sir. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would like all of the current or former Mastonia firefighters to stand up. <laughs> All right, now sit down if this man didn't either hire you or promote you. That's either from full time or part time or to a different rank. Sit down. If, if, he did, if, if he promoted you, I'm sorry, sit down. If he promoted you or hired you, go ahead and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much of an impact it's had in our department. Okay? Um, and it's been that way from day one. He's a special individual. He's been a special boss to work for. Um, we're all sad to see him leave. But we're also very happy for him. So in recognition of that, he's your 35-year service man. And Mayor, what would you leave him with? Anyway, he's right there. <laughs> would you, what was the comment you said? The road, the road. Get your, get your motor running and get out on the highway. <laughs> so when you're running the law enforcement. <laughs> <laughs> Husband and wife. That's his work wife. Yeah, that's right. My wife says the same thing. <laughs> Call your husband. <laughs> I think I'm I think I'm ready. What a ride. 35 years, you know, I started out just cutting grass. You know, we had a we had a, a little house that was our city hall. And, and I actually drove a, a residential lawn mower over to 82 Park, and then we had something called Green Acres, which very few, maybe Ed back there will remember, and I, I drove this farm all tractor to Sugarbush Park, because that's, that's all we had at the time, you know, we didn't have Longwood, and then we went on Longwood, and uh, we started going. I was not the first Parks, we had a Parks and Rec director. He immediately, when he read the uh, article, he immediately called me, Brian Katz, and said, I was the first guy. So I said, well, I, I'll give you recognition when I, when I talk. So I was not, so I was the first, I was the first grass cutter. So, and uh, you know, I, I, I really appreciate it. I'm blown away at, uh, at uh, you know, at all of this. I'm, I'm truly blown away, but you know, it's, it, I think that the council and the mayor hit on it. It truly is, it, it is about the people. You know, there's, training is important. You know, the, the tools of the trade are important for our service department and our police, but it really comes down to the people. And I, I've met the, the best people with our department heads. You know, they, they live in the city. Um, they, they truly, truly want to serve their residents. And uh, um, that's what made it easy for me here to be surrounded by people that, that truly care about the, the, uh, the city and, and the work that we do here. Um, you know, uh, Brian came up uh, and, and uh, gave me the badge representing the guys. And, you know, Brian's 40 years in the fire department. I, I know I, I got 36 and I'm leaving, but 40 years in the fire department. Half his life's been on the fire department. Material. <laughs> Born and raised in Macedonia. Okay, his his grandfather was a Cleveland firefighter. So so you know the, these guys they, they they live here, they serve here, they really care. You know my officers, um, Paul Solinsky, entire family lives here. Um, in Macedonia, his kids, his girls, um, his boy, they all live here. He's on the fire department, his son's on the fire department. Um, they, 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 they pay taxes here, they, they partake in, in uh, everything that happens here. So they're really grounded. Uh, Rob Lewis, did you ever move out of Macedonia? You've lived here your entire life. I was two. Since two years old when he moved in. His parents live here, okay? And Rab, Rob's grandfather delivered me. <laughs> Deliver me. My mom was there, ask her. <laughs> <laughs> Not only delivered me, but drove my mom in a snowstorm because my dad was working second shift, I believe. So my father wasn't there, so Rob's grandfather. So 
at that time is when I said, I got to hire back. I got to hire. I got to pay things back. <laughs> I don't know how many of you remember Doc Martin, but he was the yeah. he was the town doc. You know, I mean, it's like that. so these guys come from good stock. Their families have been here. Their families, families, their grandparents, they're here. They're they're grounded here. Of course, I, I say I hired everybody in the fire department, either full or part time. These guys were hand selected. They truly were hand selected. What the job that we do and going out 300 times a month. We go out to our residents' houses. We go into their houses. We see where they, they sleep, basically. <laughs> so these guys have to be completely, completely trusted. So it was so important for me to get the right people in here. And, and that's, you know, that's what I want to expand out. You know, I, I really think that we have the right people here. Um, they're handpicked. The voters pick these people to do their business. And then the department heads pick their people. And a lot of thought and a lot of testing and a lot of things go into picking those people out. Everybody on the fire department, you know, I hired full-time or part-time, as they said, except for Chip Davis. I did not hire Chip. Chip's been with me since he started in 84 in the service department and moved, moved down up with me, and he's a lieutenant here. So um, he, he's not here tonight, but I certainly wanted to mention him. So as I look around, I see a whole bunch of, uh, I see a son here. I see a whole bunch of people, and all I can say is it's Valentine's Day, I think I'm okay, but you guys are probably in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to stay with, with my wife since, she, since the mayor brought her up. Uh, I think I'm going to be okay, but you, you guys are probably in a little bit of trouble. I, I did not uh, plan on it being Valentine's Day, that for sure. So obviously, uh, you know, all of our wives, they, they really put up with us. All these guys' wives, they really, really, really put up with us leaving on calls because that, that is the utmost. You know, they know, they know what it is. They know Tuesday nights is training nights. They know um, when the tones go out, we go. I mean, it's just simple as that. And we miss a lot of, these guys miss a lot of family functions, but they don't really miss it because they're going to serve. So they, they leave their families and they, and they go on the calls. And I'd like to thank my wife for 36 years of doing exactly that. Okay. <laughs>
So one last thing before we uh, we part ways tonight. Um, I would be remiss if I didn't thank the people that helped coordinate this. Uh, Mrs. Josephine RCC, and in the back of the room, my assistant, Mrs. Diana, Miss Diana Augustine. You know, it's a lot of work to put this stuff together, and, and they were a great, great help with that, and I appreciate you guys. For that. Oh, and Sherry, uh, Sherry Kuzma, too. Oh, we have refreshments in the back. Cake, it looks pretty good. I can tell my kids are chomping at the bit to get at that, so <laughs> please join us. So, so I have a motion to adjourn. I'll make a motion for adjournment. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. We are adjourned.
Thank you. 